Hi everyone, welcome back to another video on Tennis Coach Online. Today is a bit of a different uh, video, it's actually a story about a very uh, interesting uh, life and uh, famous uh, tennis player, Mansoor Barami, who uh, unfortunately I use that uh, that word famous as he actually was not famous until now uh, when he got through his uh, trickshotting career on the Champions Tour as you can see here, but he really did not gain enough uh, recognition and uh, real support throughout his actual career as, as I'll tell you about. He was an Iranian born uh, tennis player. And there's a very interesting story towards his uh, smiling now on this court. You can see in this video, it didn't come easy. And this is a great video for you to guys to watch if you're uh, thinking you don't have it all or how do people do it or uh, you don't think you're lucky. Well, you really have to understand where some people have got the chance to get tennis. And hopefully this motivates you a bit because uh, Mansoor Barawi was one that did not have the support where people get around the world now for being a, a young, good tennis player. Uh, his father was a gardener in the biggest sports complex in Iran and he, when he started to walk around with his uh, dad there when he was about two or three he saw these sports grounds and he could play everything except the sport he wanted which was tennis because tennis was reserved for the elite and the rich. Now this is Iran uh, many years ago and it's very elitist sport back then. Um, and really, all he could do, which is a very interesting part, from the age of 3 to 13, he learned to play tennis using metal frying pans, pieces of wood, and even the palm of his hand. Uh, this really actually helped, as you can see now, help him play the trick shots, uh, but it wasn't the most ideal, which a lot of people get set up now with the best rackets, sponsorships, grips, clothes, everything. Imagine trying with a metal frying pan. Now, when he got to the age of 13, the Federation needed new players, and they gave him two rackets, finally. Imagine that, by the age of 13, you already have people travelling international with a thousand rackets in their bag. He got his first two rackets at 13. Uh, three years later, he then finally got in the national team. Uh, but, however, when uh, Ayatullah took power in the 1980s, this is where some problems came through and this is where the sad story is. His career took a big step backwards because the Iranian rulers, uh, rulers who were suspicious of the capitalist game uh, from the West, which, which was tennis, and they thought because this game is a Western, Western played sport, they were suspicious of this and they actually closed all the courts and banned it from playing. Now imagine that if your local club was banned due to rulers thinking it was a, a suspicious game and there was something uh, that should not be commenced in the country. Imagine that. And from there he stopped playing for three years. Three years. Imagine that huge gap. Three years is massive for any pro player. That, that could be the difference between winning and losing a slam. Uh, playing three years of training is a huge bit. And during that, he had to play backgammon, uh, which obviously doesn't relate to tennis. And, you know, that, that's all he could do because this one sport was taken away from him. Uh, but luckily, he emigrated to France. And uh, by the time he joined the ATP Tour in 1986, he had already, unfortunately, lost many of the best days uh, of, the, of, the, of his career because uh, he, unfortunately, was uh, gaining years. And we know peak player is about 28 now. Uh, but the thing with Mansoor is he never gave up his real entertaining habits, even when he did fight his best. He didn't let the crowd ever not just uh, go for just one little match. He always wanted to entertain. Um, and he believed, you know, jokingly, he believed he didn't reach Federer's standard because he was much an entertainer, as we see here, which is, which is, which is great because he, he got to what he wanted to do. He got to tennis, but, and he spent it the way he wanted to because he had this whole lifetime of uh, restriction. So it really shows once you get there, it, it's your choice you just have to put in the hard yards and then whatever job or occupation you want to do it it's your choice how you operate and how well you want to be but as long as you have fun doing it uh, but you can see Mansour had to go through hard yards just to get there and now uh, we have this final quote just to finish this the video is since he was 15 the first thing on his mind was to entertain the crowd and as you can see here he's he's a hilarious guy he's very popular now and you know you can see the happiness in his eyes finally getting to play a sport which is simple, a racket and a ball, and to imagine that being taken away from you just because of views, that really uh, what happened. And you know, he, he speaks for it now, because in Iran there is there's no tennis, there's no competition, and they actually don't do anything for sport. Imagine the USA, the academies there, they get thousands of dollars of sponsorship, they get free coaching, everything like that if you're a good player. You know, uh, there's, there's so many players who still actually want to play in Iran, but don't have the, the support and funding to become good players and what Mansour thinks is actually there's a many players who want to be professional but they just don't have that opportunity but which is very sad and they have to actually emigrate or leave the country just to have the idea um, and you still women can play in closed areas between between them and no men can watch so you can see the different 
different ideal of, of the world. So we're very lucky in the Western countries. Um, as we can see here on the Challenger t Champions Tour, we're very lucky to have someone like this that we can look back on. So I, I aid you to check more of Mad Barami's videos and hopefully if you like this, I'll make some more videos later about real, real spite for, for motivation, not just relating to tennis, but for anything. If you can do that much from 3 to 13, play with metal frying pans, you, you are definitely going to be a pro tennis player. There's, just no, other, there's no other way without such will. So hopefully you enjoyed this video. Uh, please look at some more Mansour Barami videos. As we can see here, he's just an entertaining legend. Uh, but uh, I'll see you guys in the next one.